Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are. Welcome to Behind the Scenes with Ashley, where we talk about God and just day-to-day -day life and encouraging words. If you're new here, hey, what's up? Family, who's been sticking around from the beginner? Hey, welcome back. I miss you guys. I'm just so excited. Um, so before I get too excited and forget what I want to talk about, let's pray. Ready? Father God, I just want to thank you for this time that you've given me to be able to be your vessel and give back to the word. Give your word back to our people, Father God. I thank you for your love and your grace and your mercy and your fresh plate of daily bread every single day, Father God. As we go out into our day, I would love for you to wrap your arms around us and my brothers and sisters and make sure that no weapon forms against us, Father God. No weapon will prosper. Lord, I just pray for their financial breakthrough, Father God, supernatural healing and restoration between relationships, Father God. I just pray as we go into our day that you fix our eyes on you, Father God, and that you open our hearts, Father God, to receive this word that you have. I thank you for all the blessings that we have and all the ones that are to come. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. All right, that was beautiful, huh? All right, I'll be choking up sometimes, it's all right, all right? Because I want to say all kinds of things at one time. But here we are. I've been up since 3.33 a.m. And before my children get up, it's 6.30. So I just wanted to hurry and hop on here, give y'all a little bit of encouragement, let you guys know y'all are worthy and wonderfully and beautifully made in his image. You are worthy, you are worth it. It starts with you. With that being said, you had, you've ever wondered why you're praying and God's being silent, right? Are you going to God and speaking to Him to seek to listen? Or you going to God to seek to be heard, okay? If you don't pray, you ain't gonna survive your days. You, you'll barely be making it, staying stuck in the same patterns, right? Prayer is necessity for survival. If you stay silent and not ask God for what you want, He's going to stay silent until you open your mouth and speak because he already knows. He already knows our desires of our heart. He already knows what we want and the answer is already there, right? It is written. It's already there. It's already paved out. He knows every number of hairs on our head. But are you asking? Are you speaking? Speaking in prayer, are you communing with God? Because communion is a two-way street, it's not a one-way street. You can't expect to snap your fingers and have it all laid out in front of you. Are you communing with God? Are you carving out time every single day to spend time with Him, to learn Him, to understand, even though we'll never understand Him? You can seek to understand and ask Him for the wisdom that it takes to understand. I'm sorry, my hair all is all right. All right. So, you are called. You are chosen. But don't ever feel too special, right? Because everyone is special in their own way. Everyone has a piece of the puzzle to their own life. As it says in Matthew 6 32 he knows our needs don't worry don't fear I've already answered you he assures us that he hears us 
He is the one who invited you to pray. You've ever had like this overwhelming urge to pray and you're just seeking that, right? You want to go into that state of being. That's an invitation. It's up to you to accept. We don't just wake up and say, hey, I'm going to pray today, right? <laughs> I thought we did, but no. <laughs> The Holy Spirit is inside of us, and He is the interceder between, intercessor between us and God, right? He died for our sins, right? So that we can have that access to God, so that veil can be unlifted, right? Are you thanking Him for your breath every day? Are you inviting Him in your day? get so comfortable in your relationship with God that you stop talking and assuming that he knew what you wanted yeah he knows what you want but he's waiting for you to speak it speak it and I will answer it is done knock and the door will be open you can't just be a hearer you have to be a doer okay so It says in Psalm 23.3, he restores my soul. And in Jeremiah 3.33, which is funny, I woke up at 3.33 this morning, call to me and I will answer you. In any distress, and you don't have the words to say, just call out his name. Say, Father, I don't have the words to say right now, but you know my heart, Father God. Please, please give me the clarity, the wisdom, and the knowledge to know the difference.